Hey guys, Deco here, and today I'm going to be doing a quick play review on Clashion Hunter Larp. Uh, I was debating whether to actually put this play review out there and actually do the card because he's only got like two to three days left on the SPC itself, but I thought I may as well, mainly because I uh, my German team is Schalke and Hunter Larp is a player that is a bit more of a legend to me because I'm 23 and his prime was like when Schalke were getting results against like Real Madrid so I really just wanted to do it for my own sake um, and plus I guess there still is time for people to do it if they really want to do it off the back of this SBC itself um, so it's definitely worth doing going into his stats he's got 5 star big foot and 3 star skill moves um, medium medium work rates which really isn't too bad because you know the type of player that he is he's not quick but he's more someone who you can rely on finishing most shots he's got a good boost in physical and dribbling as well so you can definitely you know choose to use him as a target man going into his main stats I have put a hunter card on him it's made it so that he's now got 92 acceleration and 99 sprint speed so you're going to meet around the middle it's going to be about 92 to 93 pace um <laughs> the finishing stat only went up by one so he's now got 99 attack positioning anyway he's got 99 finishing now 96 shot power 99 volleys and 82 penalties with the other stats down the line looking like 90 strength 87 stamina 81 aggression 90 head and accuracy 92 reactions and uh, 97 composure with a few other mid 80 stats in there to just rub it in the wounds he's got the finish shot um player trait and he's free so you know if you're debating whether to do it if you, as long as you've got some german players in the club then you can definitely do it and the last video i uploaded as well um actually helped with getting packs for very low value in queens so if i'll leave a link at the end of the video because some of the video is about icon swaps which again would help you but the second part of the video was more so about the um sudamericana spc and how you can get some gold packs for essentially nothing but you do have to put a little bit of coins into doing the first half of the spc but go back to the point anyway so yeah we're going to jump into two games, we're going to see how Hunter Lar plays, we're going to show the highlights, and then I'll come back and tell you the review. Because I have only played one game with a guy, he came off the bench when I was playing a weekend league game. Um, I finished 14 wins, 2 losses this weekend, so a uh, good weekend for me, but obviously we need to see how Hunter Lar goes. So let's get into the games and see how the magic prevails. A good first team to I feel like this segment's always just out with a good team, but he's got Mendy, Dembele, Mbappe, go with Bruno, Garincha, Kleber, Fernandez, Ronaldo. I, I just clearly did not see the Ronaldo right right in the middle. I can't see myself even getting a chance with Hunter Lara in this match. Never mind, he scored. <laughs> that was a good. That was a good finish. This good finish. Oh, wow! Until I scored a second goal. First shot was a bit iffy, but then again, he did move his keeper, so I can't judge. <laughs> oh god, that's crazy! He's got four goals. Oh my god. I didn't finesse that. Second team. He's got Pele. I don't even want to go through that. That's disgusting. Good 
It'll take a goal from kickoff, why not? Even if it's just sweaty. That was so good. That was a really good pass by Montalar. Got. He went just before I scored that fourth goal, I swear. He's now put his controller down. And try he's just pressing L2 or something. Well, let's just get to the overall review. I mean, I'll tell you how I thought of the card. So, after playing a third of two games over that one weekend league game, we came up with nine goals in two matches, one assist. And you could argue, yeah, that second game, the guy to put the controller down. But, when he put his controller down, I scored only one more goal, and it was with Huntala from distance. I literally just kept on doing long shots, and one just hit the post top corner and went right in. I was like, I wish I'd have recorded that, but I still think that's legit stats practically. It would take one or two goals, and even then, two games with seven goals would be good enough for me with one assist, but no. Three games, nine goals, one assist. Um, we'll start off with the negatives. As you'd expect, his dribbling capabilities aren't exactly peach. Um, he is six foot one, has 87 physical, so his dribbling's not really going to be incredible. Um, the stats say, you know, pretty good composure and reactions, and I'd agree with that. Obviously, the dribble in itself's down is 86, and you'd want it to be a bit higher, but that's about the only negative I can give the card. Just react well with when you actually want to do something, and he is quite composed in front of goal, so, of course, that makes a lot of sense. So, with the Hunter card that I put on Hunterlar, um, probably the one card that actually suits anyone more down to the T. He uh, he was very quick. I found that he was quite fast. Obviously, it's about 95 pace in between, supposed to be. And I'd say he was around 90 pace. He'd have definitely matched near enough that. Um, his shooting, which was basically 99, I couldn't fault it. It was incredible. Um, he just scored most shots that he took with him that were around the box. and. Obviously, I didn't get a chance with him as a header, but this is definitely going to be a card that I'm going to keep for the whole of FIFA. Obviously, my team is the way it is. He's going to be a bench player because Ronaldo's going to get put back on. But the likes of Palacios and Bender at some point, Hernandez, even obviously the normal Royce that you can see there, they're all cards that I'm going to submit into SBCs. And if it's not going to be Bender, it's going to be Sambia, but I can't see me get committed to Sambia. He's just too quick. But. Huntelaar is definitely going to be a super sub for me. I give that card 5 out of 5. Um, joint favourite for me with Bruno Fernandez's in, um, review. Definitely an incredible card that if, if you want to put in the time, it takes a good, I don't know, 3-4 to four hours if you're consistent with it. But he's worth doing if you want a super sub player. Or if your team is not that good, 90 rated is not you know, something to bat an eye on. I definitely recommend getting him, getting him if you want to put him in the uh, like a 4 3 3 4 dimension or as a target man in any other formation, uh, like 4 3 2 1, etc. Really good card, 5 out of 5 for me. Physical, you, you, you've seen from one of the clips the way he just barges a player off the ball. His passing was a bit underrated, in my opinion. He had really good passing. Um, obviously, the defending doesn't really matter because he doesn't go back because he's a striker, but. Going back to that passing for a second, you've seen a clip there where he composed himself, brought the ball back because of the reactions, and then just passed it straight through down the middle for Ian Wright, I think it was, to um, get the ball 
and put it in the back of the net. But incredible card. By the way, Ian Wright's another player review I've got on the channel. He costs around 400,000 coins. If you want to check that out, I'll put it at the end of the video as an annotation. And I'll leave a link to it down in the description as well. Since I've done that review today, to be fair, from the recording date that it is now, but I'm putting this up uh, a day later. But yeah, that's practically my review. Five out of five, ten out of ten, no matter what way you want to put it. Uh, incredible card, must use, must have, can't recommend anymore. Even if other people say other, any otherwise, obviously to me, he's a bit of an icon, so it does help that fact. But them stats themselves, I made people with Pele and Ronaldo put the controllers down and quit with Huntalar. Like, come on, you can't even. And I'm, I'm a Division 1 player, yes, but I only get so far in weekend leagues. I'm not an incredible player, but this card definitely made me look like more of an incredible finisher at the very least. Um, but yeah, that's my review all sorted, wrapped up. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Put down in the comments if there's any video ideas you've got for me for the future. And I hope you have a lovely evening, guys. And uh, peace.